I'm proud to announce now that more than 20 financial institutions in Rhode Island have pledged to step up and help our community in this time of need. They've pledged the following relief to residential borrowers. First, a 90-day grace period for all residential mortgage payments for individuals impacted by COVID-19 with the opportunity to ask for additional relief. Second, an agreement to not report late payments to credit reporting agencies for residential borrowers who take advantage of the relief. So it's a 90-day grace period for your mortgage payment and they won't report it to a credit rating agency. So it won't affect your long-term credit. A 60-day moratorium on initiating residential foreclosures and evictions. And finally, an agreement to waive mortgage-related late fees. The last thing you should have to deal with right now is a late fee. Uh, thank you. This is a very big deal. The list of the participating financial institutions will be made available today on the DBR website, dbr.ri.gov. Uh, it, so it includes credit unions, small banks, community banks, and some of the biggest banks that operate in Rhode Island. You're doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing, and as your governor, I am so proud of you. I'll actually, I want every Rhode Islander to take a minute and go on the DBR website and look at the list of those 20 financial institutions who are doing the right thing for the right reasons to support our community. And, and if you're hearing me and struggling to pay your mortgage and worrying about late fees, I really want you to go to that website and see if your banker is there because there's some good relief on the way. That initiative, which is collaborative, that's not due to my regulation or executive order, that's us reaching out to the community and them stepping up to do the right thing. It would not have happened without the leadership of Commerce Secretary Stephen Pryor and the president of the Commerce, Se Commerce Corporation, Jesse Saglio. Huge amount of shoe leather and work and effort went into that. Hats off to both of you and your teams. And um, I hope it provides everybody out there with a little breathing room, because I know times are really tough right now. I do want to remind everybody that courts are closed for non-essential business through May 17th. So again, breathe a sigh of relief. You cannot be evicted. You can't be evicted between now and May 17th because the courts are closed. Um, I also want to announce that starting next Thursday, we'll be making available a million and a half dollars in rental assistance for the lowest income Rhode Islanders across the state. Uh, I need more time to finalize the details of that, so next week I'll let you know precisely who's eligible and how we plan to administer it. But it's Friday, people are anxious, so if you're a low income person and you're stressed about paying your rent, I just want you to know help is on the way. I just need a little more time to figure out the details, but we're going we're gonna to do our best to help you out.